Hi, I'm Ellen Murphy. This tutorial will cover the basics of Live Binders. Live Binders is a three ring binder for the web. It allows you to easily collect your resources and organize them just as if you had a three ring binder. You will use Live Binders throughout this module. This is going to allow you to develop a web based repository not only for your final project, which is a classroom management plan, but also for your initial thoughts, any resources that you may find useful that you want to keep for future reference, and any reflections that you may have. Now, first, you'll want to create an account at livebinders.com. Creating an account is similar to doing so on any other website. You'll click sign up, you'll select a username and password. Now, I already have a LiveBinders account, so I'll show you once you have an account, this is what your home page will look like. These are my binders. You can see that I have two, one that I created for a class, ECI 517, and then one that LiveBinder provides, your first binder, a how-to guide. This is a good reference to have in the future. Now, LiveBinder does all kinds of things. It allows you to collect your binders and store them on shelves, so you may categorize them by different topics. It has bookmarking tools. It allows you to do all types of uploads. But for now, let's just build a binder. This is what you'll be doing for your module. So let's, let's select Start a Blank Binder. So I get to name my binder. I'm going to name it Classroom Management Plan, describe it as my classroom plan, and tag it as Classroom Management. Live Binders gives me the choice of making my binders public, anyone can view it, or private. If you do select private, you have the option of creating a password for the binder that you can give to others to allow them to access the binder. Now, create a new binder. That's it. We have our first binder titled Classroom Management Plan. LiveBinder defaults to giving you three tabs, one, two, three. They're very easy to rename. You simply insert your cursor and begin typing whatever you want to name your binders, your tabs within your binder. Let's call ours Initial Thoughts, Resources, and Management Plan, because those are the items that you're going to be working on in this module. Now, one of the great things about Live Binders is how easy they make it to insert information. Let's say in my Initial Thoughts, I wanted to include a link to a website. All I have to do is enter the URL, select insert, and the website is entered into my binder. Now what if I wanted to add content, add some text? I'm going to go up to add content, and Live Binders gives me options. We have that link option that we just did. I could also upload a file from my hard drive or from some other resource. I could add other content, Flickr, YouTube, QR codes, items that I may have stored in the cloud and Dropbox, or I can do what they call select text layout, which basically means I just want to type into my Live Binder. I'm going to do one column text. I'm going to close this. And I'll title this Ellen's Initial Thoughts. And I can begin adding my content. You can see that there are basic formatting options, just as there are with other programs. And I can do this in any of my tabs. I can also add tabs. It's very easy by clicking on any of the tabs to add a new tab, additional resources, or if I decide, oh, I think I'm going to delete that tab. I can move the tabs. I can rearrange them. Very, very user friendly.
Another thing that Live Binders does is allows you to have subtabs. So let's say under resources, I want to have materials from the web in one place, web links, and articles in another. I can click subtab and do websites here. Click subtab, go to resources, click subtab again, and add articles. I can share my binder with a link through email, through Twitter, through various social media sites. I can add it to a shelf. Let's say I want to create a shelf of classroom management resources. I might decide to add this binder with my classroom management plan to that shelf. Be sure and save. And I can always go back to my binders. And now you'll see my classroom management plan in my binders. Very robust tool, very easy to use, and very popular because it allows us to organize our thoughts for any given project in the same way that we are used to organizing them in a three-ring binder. Thanks very much.